Hey everyone, it's Rally Girl. Welcome back to my medieval city build. I did a little bit of decorating here at the mill. I put those little boxes at the windows, the little flower boxes. I love it. Those are from Woody's Wasteland mod and they look so cute and they went on there really nicely. I didn't have to do very much adjusting, just a little bit left to right to get it centered, but otherwise it did itself. There's the the light I was talking about from Woody's Wasteland that I wanted to try out. It looks so good right there. It is adorable. I put out a few things here and there. I have just started to decorate on the inside. I haven't done a lot yet. There is not a lot to choose from as far as medieval stuff in the game, so I'm trying to piece a few things together here and there. This fireplace right here is also from Woody's Wasteland. I love it because it has this snappable pot you can snap on the arm in the pot. So I have that put out. I kind of fixed it into the wall a little bit here. So I, I think it looks pretty good. You can't just get the fireplace by itself. You have to have some kind of a wall attached to it. So outside I added the fireplace, the flue. You've got the smoke coming out top. It looks really cute. I like how it looks. I added one over there too. I won't run down there, but we'll see it eventually when we do the tour. So today we're working in this area. I stuck in a little, the little stable that I wasn't sure where I'd want to put it. I like it right there. Every town you come to has a stable for your horses, so why not right there, right? We're going to build these two little houses today. This is probably going to be a pretty quick episode because I'm just doing two by two. These are not big houses at all, but I wanted to stick something in here and I think it'll be really nice once I get them done. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my build mode and get into castle in the sky master plan castle in the sky okay we're gonna go to the manor house i've already stuck these floors in i think i'm gonna go with those floors i did wood in the house over there and i think i did what did i do over there cobble i think i did cobble so i think i'll go with these for this little house these little houses i should say um, they're going to be one level houses and I'm going to probably have my doors on the inside and I want it to kind of be centered. So I'm going to do that one and then we'll put a little window on the other one. But I got to pick the ones, the one that I want. Oh, I like how that one looks. Then we have a bigger window and I think maybe I use that one over there. No, I must use something different. It's not quite the same. I like that window. I think I'll go for that there. This one here, I want to do the same as having my door in the middle. So I'm going to pop that one there. And we'll do a different window on this house. I don't really want them looking exactly the same. But I wanted them facing each other. So as far as the side of the house, let's do the same window that I have on the front on the side here. And I think I'm going to do probably the same on this side and at least one window in the back so we can see our pretty mill house over there then I have to go in a different tab to do the ones that don't have windows let's see what did I go with I like that let's see if we can find something that has straight up and down like that one that would look good too with what we have going on here let's just go with that for the ones that don't need the windows. All right, so we'll go back to windows, finish this one. I'm gonna go with what I have on the front. So let's do a little bit different here. This isn't really a necessary window because we're just staring at the side of the castle. So maybe I'll leave that one off, but I'll put a window there. And let's pick a design for this house. Um, let's go with the X's. I like that. There's one. There's one. Come on. Snap over here. Thank you. And then that would mean this guy. Be out of the house here when I snap it in. Okay. I think it's good. I'm not sure I like the X's with the windows. Uh, I think I'll be okay with it. I'm just going to leave it. I think it'll work. Now we're going to put roofs on. And I'm going to do smaller roofs, probably like what I did over there on that side of the house. I like that lower pitch. I don't want really, really tall pitch on these little houses. They're just meant to be small. 
So we'll go with that end piece there. We'll see how it looks. I think this is even less of a pitch, isn't it? Yeah, that's less of a pitch. Well, we'll see how it looks. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't like it, I'll just take it off and try a little bit steeper. Where's the other piece? There we go. And you go right there. All right, let's run over here, look at the house, see what I think. Okay. I'm thinking I don't like how low it is. Yeah, I'm going to go higher on that pitch. So. That's really high. There. That's what I did on the other house over there. So I think I'm going to do probably this. Right, which way does this go? This one goes like this. Come on. Yeah, that's going to be better. Okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So, that one goes over here. And this one goes this way. Whoop. Alright, let's jump out. I just want to see what it looks like here from ground level. Yeah, that's pretty cute. That's a good little house right there. This other roof on this one, I may go a taller, steeper pitch, maybe. And then we could have, whoop, we could have ourselves a little bit of a loft up there. All right, let's see what this was going to look like. Yeah, I think this would be kind of cute to have a little bit of a um, pitch, pitch on there. Am I on the wrong one? Okay, so this is going to resemble more of that house over there with the bigger roof, which I think is kind of nice because it gives a different look for both of these places when you come up to them. Let's see what they look like over here on our bridge. I added a little something here to make it easier to get on the bridge. I did it on the other side too. This makes it look better. Alright. I just want to see what it looks like from the distance when we're over here looking in. Okay, you can definitely tell it's two different houses. I don't think that's too bad. So this one, because we have a little bit of a pitch, we could put a little floor up there. And then we could have, like we did in the other house, the little bit up there. So, let's find my floors here. I think I went past them. Yep. We'll just do little, little floors. Here's what I was looking for, that one. The big one. Yeah, that's what I wanted. There we go. Then we could put a little bed up in there on one of these sides. I just have to remember where my ladder is. It's not an animated furniture. No, it's not there. I know there's a ladder somewhere and I always forget where it is. Decorations. I think it's back here, maybe. Yeah. It's got to find it. There we go. Where do we want to put it? Let's put it right there, because if we put it too far over, you're just going to bump your head. That'll work. And while I'm thinking about it, why don't we just go ahead and put the bed in up there. It's here somewhere. I don't remember what I did in the other house, but let's just do this little green guy here. I'll place him and I'll fix him later if I need to, but... Here we go. That's in. I like how the cobble floors, or wood, whatever these floors are called, I like what they look like on the inside here. Looks pretty good. Let's find our doors. Get our doors on here. And I may put one of these to have a little bit of a overhang on the front. Um, maybe this one? Because that one there kind of protects you when you come out of the house. So maybe we'll do... A different one over here so doors this is the one that has the little round handle which I like and then this one has the um, 
what is it called? The pole? I don't know what you call it. That's gonna open. I wish these doors fit a little bit better. They just don't. Would this one fit a little better on there? That one does. I think I'm gonna go with that. I just wish it had poles on both sides of the house of the door. That's okay. We'll just do that. Those fit much better. Woody's Wasteland has foundation. What do they call them? Trellis. Wonder if I could hide that in the wall. Look, oh, that would be so cool. Let's see if I can hide it. I don't know what it'll look like on the inside, but I can't even tell if it's straight. That would do it. Let's see. Please, oh, whoop, I reset the door. Please be hidden in the wall. It is sweet. Oh, you guys, my cat's hollering at me. It's about lunchtime and she's letting me know. Okay. Oh, I unsnapped everything, so it's not going to snap back in there without me turning all that back on. Pulling it back. Here we go. Okay. So, I love it. I think that'll be perfect for this house. I just wanted something to kind of cover the windows so we don't have prowlers climbing in at night while everybody's trying to sleep. So that is it. Woody's Wasteland Foundation Trellis number two is what I'm going to put in the rest of these windows. So, as soon as I get done with that, I will be right back. I'm back. It's all in and it's looking great. Look at that. That's perfect. I need to remember that because I'm going to probably be using that on the house. Some of the houses on the inside of the city once we get to work in there. Okay. Last thing I wanted to do was put some kind of a little lean to or something right here at this door. Just to give it a little bit something else to make it look a little different. So let's get back into our build mode here. Um, I really don't know what... I'd like to do. He has some really cool stuff here, but it doesn't look very medieval. This is like, I don't even think you can see how it's got the, what is that called? The um, corrugated metal. I don't think that's going to do it. Oh, uh, I've got to look around here a little bit, see if I can find something. I used over here a roof section, which is going to be way too big. Over here, I used pieces out of CVC. Maybe I'll do that over here because I like it. I mean, it doesn't look metal, which I don't really want metal going on. So let's try that. Let's go to CVC and see if I can find it real quick. I don't know if it was under canopies or something else. Oh, no, there it is. Look at that. It's called warehouse canopies. And... I could do the left and right like I did over there, which I may just do that. Oh, it's snapping somewhere, but not where I want it to go. So I'm going to turn snapping off and just see if I can flop it in here and fix it how I want it to go. And we want it to be touching the house, and that is not. So I'm going to use place everywhere, just kind of scoot it a little bit. Ooh, that's touching the house. I'm starting to go through. Let's do that. Okay, now I'm going to turn my snapping back on and see if maybe I can get the other side just to snap right there. Haha, <laughs> it did. Perfect. Alright, are we floating at the bottom? Does not look like a poster floating at the bottom. I don't know how even I am around this door either. I'm thinking... I am not straight. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. It looked straight. But it totally was not. And that's not straight. I'm thinking maybe that's straight. Er. You can definitely tell when you get the other side snapped on how not straight you are. What are you doing? Snapping silly like that. See how far neither side is really touching the house. So let's just see if I can fake it. I went in five that time. Let's see if I can get this to resnap to it. There we go. All right, from that side it looks like it's touching. This side it still does not look like it's touching. Well, I guess it is. Yeah, it looks like it's touching. All right. I think I'm gonna go for that for my cute little overhang over that house. That gives it a little bit of character there. It looks a little different. 
Okay, well then that's going to be it for today, guys. I'm going to decorate behind the scenes like I always do. And we will start next week on something new. I'm still not quite ready to go inside to work yet because I wanted to do some stuff over this way. So I'll probably see about what I want to do on this side. I've got a few ideas. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do it or not, but we'll see. So next episode, we'll figure that all out. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you liked this. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. But don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next build. Bye.